Good afternoon. What I would like to show you today is how to draw a ray diagram that shows the formation of a virtual image by a plane mirror. Often comes up in P1 exams at the moment. So, first thing that I would do, the easiest way I find to draw these, is to draw on the virtual image itself. This is easy because on a plane mirror, the virtual image will appear to be the same distance behind the mirror as the actual object is in front of the mirror. So you take a ruler, you can measure the distance, which as you can see is three centimeters. So the flame of the real candle is three centimeters from the mirror. So we would draw the flame of the virtual candle three centimeters from the mirror. So three centimeters, three centimeters. Then we take the bottom of the candle. And you can see that that is four and a half, or about four and a half centimeters from the mirror. So that means that we must draw the bottom of the virtual candle also four and a half centimetres from the mirror. So then we simply draw our candle, our virtual candle, on. There we go. It's a bit rough. You get the idea. So what we've got now is a diagram that shows our mirror, our real candle and the virtual image. And the idea of a ray diagram is to show how that virtual image forms. And this, this is the way that I find the easiest. You're going to start by drawing two straight lines from the virtual image to the observer. And you do those two straight lines, firstly from the top and then the bottom of the virtual image. While you're working behind the mirror, we're going to use a dotted line to represent the virtual ray of light. This isn't really a ray of light inside the mirror. This is just what your brain thinks is happening. And then once we're in front of the mirror, we can draw a proper bold line and we can draw an arrow on it to represent the direction that the ray of light is traveling. The ray of light is going into the person's eye. We then do the same from the bottom of the candle. So a dotted line whilst we're working inside the mirror as it were say so it's a virtual ray of light and then once we're on the front of the mirror oops, draw a proper light proper line again we'll put our arrow on to show the direction that the ray of light is traveling in now we know that this this isn't what has really happened there isn't really a ray of light coming from this virtual image inside the mirror what has actually happened is rays of light uh, or light is being emitted by the candle, light is bouncing off the candle and is going into the mirror, it's bouncing off the mirror and into the observer's eye. So that is what we're going to draw next. Firstly we'll draw a line to represent a ray of light coming from the top of the candle and hitting the mirror and going into the observer's eye and that must hit the mirror at the same point as this ray of light emerges. So now what we've got is a ray of light that has come from the top of the candle, it has bounced off the mirror into the observer's eye, and if you were to draw a normal line here and measure your angle of incidence and your angle of reflection, you would find that they are equal. We can then repeat that process from the bottom of the candle, so a ray of light has bounced off the candle, it's coming towards the mirror, hits the mirror, bounces off and into the observer's eye, and we put an arrow on there again to represent the direction that the light ray travels. When these are marked, you will, uh, ordinarily you would get a mark for putting the virtual image in the right place, for ensuring that the arrows are representing the correct direction of the travel of the ray of light, so it's coming from the real object and going into the observer's eye. You should make sure that your rays of light are bouncing off the mirror, not in front of it or behind it, and you should be drawing nice straight lines with a ruler. And there you have it, the formation of a virtual image by a plane mirror.